Dude, the love that I'm feeling for this game right now. Look, I logged off at 2 2:23 a.m. Look what I have found. I was just playing um just doing some mining because we needed more iron after using it all for ore hoppers. So, we'll we'll let the we'll let the world load a little bit. Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode 6 of my 1.20 Let's Play. Like it's 2010 again. Welcome back, everyone. Um, I didn't fix the noise, <laughs> but it's okay. I do appreciate you guys. The support in this series has been absolutely just enormous. We've been getting tons of views again. It feels so good to be back on YouTube, so thank you guys very, very much. Dude, look at this cave. Now, maybe it's because it was 2 in the morning and I'd been in these little tiny caves, but, like, I couldn't help but not, like... Like, I, I, I couldn't help but not show you guys. We had to start off in this cave. Look at this freaking cave, dude. It's absolutely... Oh, no. It's absolutely massive. Uh, we do have a little bit of iron. Uh, our pickaxe broke, so we had to get enough diamonds to craft another one. Which I actually had found three different individual pockets of one diamond each. Um, and it looks like we're continuing that trend, because these are all one pocket. That's so weird. Well, let's start around with the exterior. Hopefully, it'll be a little easier. I just woke up to record. Like, I, I, I've been I've been waking up, and I'm, like, looking forward to record. I'm, like, trying to wake my voice up, doing, like, voice exercises or whatever they're called. Like, vocal warm-ups. Oh, my gosh, it's even bigger over here! And this isn't even that far from our house. I went in the cave that we originally had found when we were looking for caves. I mean, like, the, the cave that our little tiny hole-in-the-wall house is built in. So, like, this is not far from our actual house house, like, at all. It's, like, literally inside of it. Our, 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 our old house. Our old hole-in-the-wall. Oh, my gosh. This is so big. Okay, well, let, let's go. Let's go to the other big portion first. We got a lot of exciting stuff I wanted to get done today. No pressure. But I definitely want to build a moat. I definitely want to start farming some sugarcane, and I also really want to make a dripstone lava farm, because I know you guys want to see it. I want to see it too, um, which reminds me, I know I got a stack of dripstone. Our inventory's full. Oh, we found another dungeon. It was just a zombie dungeon, though. So I did do some mining off camera, but I, I only got like this, so, so I didn't really get that much at all. So you didn't, you didn't miss a lot. We do probably want to replenish our redstone supply a little bit. I, I wish I had Fulbright on so you guys could, like, see what I'm seeing, but, like, I think for the most part... Do I have any arrows? I, I, I got this bow. Oh, you can see we have um, 64 levels. I waited AFK overnight, like, the, the yesterday. So, technically, two nights ago, I waited overnight, like, inside my minecart. Um, and I'll show you what I changed in the spawner to make it... Um, to make it work better overnight, because before, not that many mobs spawned, because they were all crammed into one little spot. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is so big. Oh. I, I, I like, can't even, like, 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 I don't even, I don't even, I don't even know. It's just huge. Um, but yes, we have 64 XP levels, so hopefully we can enchant this episode. That would be very nice. I'm not promising we'll get all that done, but if we start farming sugarcane now, by the end of the episode, we should have enough to actually make everything we need, which would be great. I am kind of realizing right now in the moment that we don't have three obsidian, or four obsidian, sorry, for the actual um, enchanting table. So, oh, that's convenient. <laughs> so I'm going to get, and look, I made that noise quiet. Isn't that nice? I've been, I've been absolutely loving the fact it can make some noises loud, some noises quiet. Because as you guys know, it's pretty ear-piercing when you go in a lava. I mean, it's still kind of loud, but usually it's like ear-piercingly so. This thing is so big, dude, I can't even like... There's a diamond in the tripstone. I don't know if that one's worth getting. It, we'll, we'll probably still get it since we have two and we can make another pickaxe out of it. But it's in a precarious spot. It's in a very precarious spot. Um, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll put water at the bottom. Well, there's a lot of water over there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe one of those will lead back up to like an ocean. 
and then we can escape out of here. Your caves like this, you just get like a sensory overload. Jeez, lava. Are you popping and burbling enough? Uh, I was trying to say that caves like this are a little bit of a sensory overload. I never can seem to like explore them all. Just because, I mean, like, how are you supposed to explore this? Oh, no, creeper. Creeper in the water. Creeper in the water. Oh, we're almost up there. Here we go. Another diamond. Wow. This is Minecraft. Okay, we got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Now, I don't see any more diamonds, but to be fair, like, I can't really see a whole lot. I'm pretty sure my brightness, if my brightness was on any lower, like this, then you guys would see like this, and that's just, maybe that's how you guys kind of see, I don't know. I feel like when I put my brightness on bright, you can definitely see a lot more. Oh no, not the close squid. Oh my, oh. It stresses me out, because I'm like, I want to I wanna see it all. I want to like, get everything here. Okay, we at least need four obsidian. So I'm going to go to the edge of this lava thing, and uh, I am going to mine it. So I will come back whenever I have gotten everything I can get, or everything that I need. See you in a bit. Okay, I got five in case something weird happens, and it, it needs more than four. I'm pretty sure it's four, like 99, 99% sure it's four, but you never know. Okay, well, I'll look around for a few more diamonds for like a couple minutes, and then we got to get on to other projects. Uh, as long as we have enough diamonds for the tools that we currently need, and uh, if we need another pickaxe, we have enough diamonds. But I'm sure it's somewhat simple to find diamonds in here, but it's so big. Okay, there's some. They're very dark. <laughs> Even for me, I know for the viewers, everything's a little bit darker. <clears throat> but I cannot fix YouTube's compression algorithms. If I make it any brighter, then above ground will just look crazy. Hey, at least it's two. I'll take two. It's better than the one I've been getting. It's like four. I, I, I've gotten, no, five single diamond veins in this mining trip. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice was not fully woken up yet, but... Oh, dude. Oh, I missed this feeling. Um, so, how we want to do sugarcane, I'm not entirely sure. I still think it's funny. Dripstone completely breaks. Uh, the mob AI once they get stuck on a dripstone. It's like they don't realize they can jump over it. Ooh, I Do need iron so I'm gonna go to town on this bad boy. I mean like we really really need iron we only have 35 I may make that where we can get three stacks. We have enough bones forever So we don't we don't ever need to get more bones. I'll go show you the loot that I got from one night and uh yeah, maybe that's where we'll appear next. Happy mining. I don't know how we ended up here. <laughs> but we are... Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, there, there's where we got the diamonds. I wanted to try and escape via water. Uh, we ended up over there. Ooh, more diamonds! Um, since I saw you last, I had found a few more diamonds. Not like a ton, but definitely a few veins. And uh, that's been really nice, because like, yeah, we, <laughs> we were kind of hurting. It was kind of sad that I found these big caves and only like five diamonds, but let's see. Will this one lead me to happiness and greater life life satisfaction via exiting this cave? So that's where we were. That's where we appeared. Let's see where this takes us. It's, these caves are so big. It still seems like it's like a modded thing for me, but it's like I know it's not, but it still kind of seems that way. Okay, so... That water stream seems to go significantly higher than this one. Hmm. Okay, well, we need to go over to there. Now, can we make the jump from here to there? Yes, we can. We could probably even make it in the stream. Nope, but close. All right, let's do a little water tunnel investigation. Where doth this water path leadeth? I don't know. Show me the way. Okay. <laughs> or not. Maybe we'll just stay inside of it. I like to go outside a little bit just in case there's, you know, that that wants to hurt me. Or, you know, maybe a, a lone creeper. 
a little a little sniper skelly. Where's this going? Where is this coming from? There's grass up here. <laughs> okay. Um, gotta say, you're a sight for sore eyes, grass. But at the same time, that's a little bit unnerving. Does that mean we're like just right next to the surface? Because if so, I would love to come back to this cave when I maybe have like a night vision potion, which is just a golden carrot. I don't know why we don't just make some night vision potions. We we actually did finally get our first carrot from our dungeon spawner because before that we didn't have one we just had never found a carrot so it'll be nice to be able to farm yep that's the actual surface right there cool okay you know i gotta say i'm liking uh <laughs> i'm liking this new cave generation led me all the way up to the surface saved me about you know a couple minutes of digging question is where are we um i'm not totally sure so I'll mark this with the cobblestone pillar. Okay, we're on a hill, so it's hard to see. Wait. Is our house just like right over there? I don't think so. But maybe. Uh. <laughs> I, don't, I don't quite know where our house is, but I feel like it's very close. I feel like I recognize this. I think I'm really just might be over there. So we'll mark it like the old school days. I'm pretty sure our house is right over this hill. If it is, then I'm going to get one Neo point, but only one. If you would like a Neo point, you can leave a like on the video and you'll automatically have one Neo point. Okay. Was this my house? Uh, <laughs> I don't remember the spruce forest being this close. So I'm just going to take a wild guess. Oh, an abandoned portal. I'll take that. Is there anything here? Anything cool? Curse of the Vanishing. Mending. Efficiency too. I think we'll just leave you how you are. Okay, buddy. We'll just leave you how you are. As you were. As you were. Um, <laughs> it's a, uh, Neo away from home. I, I really don't know. I don't know where our house is. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Aha! So it is just like right over there. And our house is right there. Let's go! Nice! All right, I'll meet you guys down in the dungeon. I just, before I put up anything, I just want to show you the absolutely insane amount of stuff we got. Okay, so I did do a little bit of TLC <clears throat> just because our entrance before looked a little strange. And so now, you know, we have a little trap door. Made sure everything was nice and square. Another ladder. I suppose we could make that ladder just into one, but why? Um, we have a pink bed down here. Some chests to sort our mob loot. So I did do quite a bit off camera, but that's okay. I, I want to play some off camera. It's not like I played so much that you missed anything, really. Um, all we did was originally we had four of these. I did make some carpet because I remember that was what trapped XP. The hoppers would like have XP trapped in them. This just prevents them. Prevents that from happening because they sit on top of it. Anyways. This was just these four right here. I just extended it backwards, dug out the room a little bit more. That way, when they fall in here, they can spread out and not, like, entity cram and kill each other. Um, these are all the special items that we've gotten. So we've got four carrots, which we probably want to take back up to the house. Somehow, glow squids are spawning in our thing and then subsequently dying and then their loot is appearing in here. I don't know if they're spawning at some point, like, I guess because this is so low and there's water big enough for them to spawn, they just spawn. So that's pretty cool. So we got that many arrows. This is just from one night. <laughs> that many <laughs> bones, that much rotten flesh. A good bit of bows, which is decent enchants, honestly. I mean, you could use some of these. Like, this one's pretty good. You keep that down there. And then we get some garbage armor. Really nothing to look at, but it's kind of cool. I want to get a full set of chain mail. But yeah, that's how everything went down here. And, uh, you know, everything's going good in here. I think I still have my minecart in my inventory from when I went mining. So we'll put that in there. Okay, well, let's get started on today's stuff. I want to go, you know, get this stuff smelting and get back up to our house. Our wall of ideas. Uh, oh, yep, make double dungeon farm. We can take that off. Glow squid farm. We didn't really make one. We did make the cloud the cow. The Cherry Blossom Cow Sanctuary of Greatness. Um, we're about to do that one. Texture the dang castle somewhere. I know, in here is a little bit lacking, but 
Um, ooh, you know what we did make? We have this stone. Let me put up some of my stone-like materials. Uh, oh, yes. We have an overflow of stone. I forgot. So we've been putting it in here. Um, I think I need iron. And that's kind of the issue. I use most of my iron <laughs> whenever I was... Oh, we still have a little bit smelting in here. Nice. So I had to make many, many iron mining trips. Just because all those hoppers... Hoppers are expensive. They take like five per. So I kind of I kind of ran out of iron. But it's okay. We have more. Um, but yeah, blast furnaces, I believe. Um, is it just this? Yes, a blast furnace. Nice. And they are like significantly faster at smelting iron. So if I was just to take the iron out of here and then put it in here. Ooh, yeah. That's so much better. There we go. And just like that, we're all smelted up. Now, obviously, we're going to make a proper area for these, whether it's on... Let's do this wall. I think this wall is appropriate. Okay, let's take everything. I was gone for a little bit, okay? It's not like everything smelted super fast or something. Mm, I don't want to take the furnaces from over there. We'll probably just take some stone. Only question is, how many of these do we realistically need? Like, what's one row? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, do we want eleven? That's fifty-five iron. Um, that's fifty-five iron. I don't know if we really want to spend all that iron right now. Would it be cool? Yeah. Wait, I already had one. We have an extra. <laughs> uh, okay. So we'll put them down here on this wall. And then we'll do smokers on the next wall. Now, I don't. I do remember smokers are just the logs in the furnace. So we'll go ahead and we will just make more furnaces. Um. <laughs> oh, there's so many. Oh no. Okay, we probably should. We we should. Yeah, we should do this. This will make our lives. Oh, we had more diamonds in there, dude. I was using an iron pickaxe for so long. I'm a little bit upset, but I'm not actually upset. But I'm. I am a little bit upset. I'm gonna go ahead and make these just because our inventories. Maybe it was a mistake to use the single chest for these. We probably should move it to a double chest, but it's okay for now. It's working for now. Um, oh, yeah, we found a Feather Falling 3 book in that dungeon. So we'll go ahead and put that in there. Um, okay, now I can grab more stone. Okay, so only 11. So we only need five more furnaces. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. That's 11. And then we can take the cherry wood from in here. Like this. I guess one would have been enough. There we go. Now we got some smokers. And then the furnaces on the left are just for other stuff, with like glass or whatever. I think that's fine. Uh, we don't need to move those. No more on the blast furnace. This is the most smokers and blast furnaces I've ever had in a base. I know that's kind of bad, but it, it really is true. Okay, we'll put up everything else. We don't really need any of the stone. We do want to keep some wood on us. We almost ran out of wood last time. <clears throat> Make a full stack is perfect. Okay, let me clean up the rest of my inventory. And, oh, we already had one of those. Dang it. It's okay. It's okay. It's funny because the carrot's almost like a rare item. Uh, we do need the sugar cane because we're about to go do that. <laughs> so after that whole mining trip, we have 37 iron ingots. Do we even have... We didn't have any extra furnaces. Oh, goodness. I don't know if we'll make an automatic sugar cane farm at this point. We'll go manual for now, but the problem is if I go manual, I'll get enough to where I never need it again. But I guess that's a good point. I'll never need it again. But also, automatic is just so much better. You know what? Let's see. Let's just play around with the idea. Let's just see what we can do. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't... <laughs> you know what? Maybe it's enough. Maybe it maybe it's enough. We'll just go ahead and take everything like it's enough. Um, with observers, you can kind of spread. Oh, oh, we need pistons. Never mind. Never mind. 
We're going manual, baby. But we'll make it cool. We'll make it unique, okay? How, you ask? I don't know. I have literally no idea. Last thing we need is a single bucket. Okay. Let's go figure out how to do a sugarcane farm or where to do one. Because... Uh, how much bamboo do we have? I don't think I've checked this in quite a while. And if we AFK'd overnight, I don't know if we were close enough to have this thing going or not. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Let's see what I mean. Over the episodes, we are building up quite the number of sugarcane. Or sorry, of bamboo. We could totally change this thing to be sugarcane. Hmm. <laughs> we could totally change it. Let me lean my chair back and think. We could totally change it, right? Would anyone? That's just lazy. No, no, no. That's lazy talk. Uh, is there any big bodies of water near us? We could at least start to put some sugarcane by. Because we don't have enough to like make a farm with, really. We're close. But not all the way there. Honestly, I think I can just do... Hmm. Like, I know how to make the efficient sh field of sugarcane, but why don't we just go get a little bit more iron? I feel like I feel like if we, if we found some nice mountains, which are... It's time. We're going to go over to the pillager outpost, and we're going to see if they know where iron is, because I don't. And uh, honestly, if we do find a, a really high up cave, we can find a lot of iron quickly, because that's all we need is some iron. After we get the iron, then we would have everything else we need. Well, hello, Mr. Bunny. Hello. Uh, if I had a carrot, I'd give it to you. I think that's what you want is carrot, right? Oh my gosh. No, you're not supposed to go in here, dude. Get out of here, dude. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other way, other way, other way. Go, 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 go. That's a cool looking bunny, dude. I don't think I've seen the black variant of the bunny. All I see is this cute little nose. Come on, get out of here. No, get out of here. Get out of this cave, dude. Why are you even? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, freedom. They're coming. Go, go. <laughs> I'll save you, buddy. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? What do bunnies want? Can you even like befriend them? I, I, do they want a seed? Like a chicken? I think they want something else, a carrot, probably. Where you at, Mr. Bunny? You want you? Oh, oh, oh no, no! What? What? No, what? 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 What did I just witness? I'm done with this. What did I just witness? Why? I killed the bunny. It was me. Well, I guess this is an important life lesson. No matter how much you try to help someone, no matter how much you try, sometimes they might jump off of a one block ledge because they have half a heart and they might die, potentially. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't, I'm holding the bunny. <laughs> yeah, it is a rainy day, okay? I get it, it is a rainy day, I agree, okay? You don't need to rub it in, dude. Bro, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Well, somehow we have signs, so maybe we should make a memorial. I, I, <laughs> what the course of events that just happened are a huge emotional whiplash. So if you need to talk to someone, I understand. What was that, dude? What was that? That was something, man. That was something. Forget about the sugarcane farm. Forget about the sugarcane farm. Oh, well, I guess he's, he's he needs a tiny grave because he's a bunny. Right? So it's like, what's the point? Like, he's so tiny. 
What do we need? We don't need all this. Just a little tiny dude. Wasn't doing anything wrong. It's so depressing. <laughs> it's just so depressing. I think he just needs one stare. It was very tiny. Now that is a depressing gravestone. Um, we'll make sure he has a flower. Yes, yeah, so okay. We need to clean up the grass. Clean up the grass. Don't need any of that. Um, let me terraform. Terraform his area a little bit. I swear, if any mobs... If any mobs want to try to play with me right now, dude. Just don't. I'm not in the mood, man. I'm gonna go back and rewatch that footage, dude. That's crazy. Absolutely wild. So some flowers nearby. At least it's not like a total like I mean it is a bad thing. I'm not trying to say it's not bad. But at least it's like able to be remembered because of all the flowers. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I know it was just a bunny that we just found, okay. I know it's just Minecraft. But when you save something from the depths of this terrible, terrible, evil game. Sometimes it hurts when they die, okay? Sometimes it hurts. Uh, you know what we need? Where's my little, uh, where's my little crafting station? Yes, come over here, buddy. Well, I guess there's no more buddy. <laughs> there's no more buddy. That's it. Just, just no more. Man, this is terrible. <sighs> Everyone take a moment of silence. Man, I had to go back and rewatch that clip. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that their fall damage starts after like one block. Okay, well, in spirit of caving, it, I, I I know we were done caving, but I don't consider this high up stuff real true caving. Oh, we just need some iron, okay? We just need a little bit of iron, some iron. We can be strong men. Need iron. I think. What does iron help with? Like your blood. I think, hey, chill. I just lost someone very important to me that I knew for like less than a minute. Uh, ex excuse me? No, 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 no. We're doing this for Nosy. And yes, we need to name the dog. We have tons of good names, but I think we might just use Nosy. We, who, 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 we are messing around now, dude. I am hurt. Kind of. I'm kind of hurt. I'm not afraid to admit it. Okay, we gotta we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Who am I kidding? I'm not I'm not able to cave right now. I am too depressed. We are gonna go mess with these villagers. Villagers, whatever they're called. I, I don't know. I can't keep track anymore. Illagers, pillagers, villagers. Can you be any less creative? Oh. Oh, you want to come near Nosy's grave, huh? Oh, you too, huh? You too! We're running. No, we're not. We're defending Nosy. Get out of here, dude. Any more, any more creepers? Yeah? Yeah? How about I show you guys what's good? Yeah. Yeah. This is going to end badly. <laughs> and right next... No! No! Okay, we're running. We're running. If we're going to blow up any more creepers, it's going to be right next to their outpost. 
This is actually an ideal spot for a pillager farm just because of the location on a mountain. Means they can't really travel far. We'll just have to flatten it out a bunch. <gasps> what? I don't even remember what they're called. Alays. AKA the most useless mob ever created in any video game ever. Alay. Pillager outpost. You guys are a joke. You're not even strong. No, you think you're so strong, but you're not even strong. Okay, what, what does this one sound like? That's awesome. <laughs> what what on earth are we going to use that for? We will take this. I don't feel like we need... I don't feel like we need four potatoes, but you know what? We'll take them. And we're going to do a sick MLG bucket. Oh. 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 Oh, there's quite a few of them. We're not losing 63 levels, I'll tell you that. We're out of food. Back to home we go. Nope, nope. We're going in this cave. We're going in this cave. Oh. <sighs> okay. <laughs> we only have four potatoes. That is that is our that is our food supply. We're stuck in a cave. We shouldn't have gone out on a night we're this upset about the loss of a friend, okay? We just shouldn't have gone out tonight, I know. Look at me. Gonna lose all these levels. <clears throat> these guys are really easy, though. I, I could probably just, like... Just kill them real quick. Oh, well, okay. Not before eating. I need to eat. We need to get at least a little bit of health back. Ah, <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh, oh my god, the lightning! The lightning's unreal! Even the gods are mad tonight! Oh, come on! Dude, <laughs> we're never getting out of this hole. You know what? I should probably... Lightning bolt impact. We're just gonna make them a little bit quieter. Just for the viewers' ears. Because I know that those can be really loud. Okay. We got we gotta make it back home. We just gotta. We lost. Fair and square. The pillagers had me tonight. That does not seem any quieter. What is it? Thunder? Lightning bolt. Whatever. That's still so loud. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Oh. It is interesting that a, that a lightning storm happens on the very night we lose our best friend, Nosy. Rest in peace, cool bunny. Yeah, so we'll get some food, and then we'll try to figure out this sugar farm. Yeah, you know, we have nine. We have stuff for nine pistons. Nine rows of sugar cane is absolutely nothing, though. You guys are trying to invade my castle on this night? Everyone should just not do anything this night. Oh no, I can't sleep. Wait, what? You're telling me those skeletons were not like right next to me? <laughs> okay. You know what? I will take it. I will take the win. No, I don't believe we have. I'm pretty sure I made all the beef that we had. We have some mutton. Um. We definitely need a source of food. We just don't. We should probably make a wheat farm more than anything. I don't really know what kind to make. I wanted to make an automatic one, but replanting those can be a little bit egregiously difficult. Put this stuff up. I guess this is a rare item. Hmm. And yes, we have nine more iron. Yay. That's good. Yeah, we have two in there. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. We got to figure out what to do about food before we go anywhere. We don't really, I mean, some mutton might help for a little bit. I don't want to take any wheat from the CBCSOG. 
because I feel like that's just like trashy. So maybe we'll, we're going to go over there and take a little bit. I don't want to like put an item frame of his body because I guess this is his body. So <laughs> I don't know where. Uh, do we not have any more item frames? I thought we did. I swear we did. Do we have any more leather? We have a one more piece of leather. Okay. I didn't even take it out, did I? No, I didn't. Silly me. Silly me. This is going to be a bunny's castle from now on. I don't know if displaying his flesh is like the best way to remember him, but it's all we've got. It's all we've got. It's all Minecraft gives us, man. We don't have like a body. We just have a piece of rabbit meat we can cook and eat. Such is nature. Okay, let's go to the CBC and let's uh, let's see if we can just, you know, breed them a little bit. It looks like they're all like right. Yeah. Yeah, I bet you think you're a good aim, huh? Yeah, <laughs> ain't so good now, are you? Oh, you gotta be quicker than that. Oh, oh, you gotta be a little Oh, 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 they hit me. Man down. Okay. Definitely do not need this stuff. We have, we have so much. We gotta go to the CBC. I do kind of want to make the bridge over here. I didn't in that day because, you know, it. we had just... <laughs> We had like literally just built this thing. So I was a little uh, like burnt out of building a massive structure, but now I'm kind of, I'm kind of interested in the idea because it would make getting between these areas a lot quicker. Oh yes, we did put the pads down, which is nice. So how, how are you, how are you guys doing? Have you guys like traversed really? I know my simulation distance isn't far, far enough to make you guys actually like move. Oh wait. We still have a large congregation over here. You'd think after all these weeks, they would have moved. Well, like Minecraft weeks, not like actual weeks. But no, they just really... They just keep going in this corner. It's so strange. But like, are they are they any further in? I really, I really like this area, dude. This is so neat. But I want to see if they're like over top this hill. I, I know I at some point led a few of them on top of the hill. But have you guys like gone even further? Have you guys gone to maybe across the bridge? No? Oh, they've definitely populated that hill. How come you guys won't go over the bridge? You guys should check it out. It's pretty beautiful over there, man. It's pretty beautiful. What about over here? What about over here? How far have you guys gone? Oh, wow. Okay, so not over there, but they are they are making good headway. Got a sheep over here as well. Nice. Okay, good. Good, good, good. And I'm happy to see they're at least exploring a little bit more. I don't think they've gone any further compared to when I checked on them last, but it is what it is. We'll go grab some wheat. We'll breed as many as we can. That is one drawback to have. How did you get out? Maybe, they're, maybe that's one of the original cows. Um... I don't really see how they could have gotten out. Yeah, I think that cow was out like when we originally came over here. Hey, we got a cow on the bridge. Ladies and gentlemen, cow on the bridge. Yeah, so a drawback to having something like this is breeding them does take significantly longer because you have to like, you know, run instead of just like holding down your mouse and just like, you know, clicking in a mass of them. You have to actually go and find them. Um... Yeah, our village raid wheat is getting a little bit low, especially if we want to make, like, a decent bit of food, which we're going to need anyways. Can't hurt to have a little bit of food. Okay, that's that's the last time we'll do it with this. When we run out of this, we got we to gotta find another solution. I'm pretty sure I can easily use up all three stacks of this. So I'm going to, like, try to draw these guys out of this corner because this is not where you're supposed to be. 
Not, I mean, the whole point of this thing is freedom, and you guys are in the f in the in the closest corner. I want you guys to explore a little bit. We we can at least start to breed you guys, though. There you go. There you go. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Now, will you come over here, please? Yes, over here. No, <laughs> even the babies are coming. Oh, it's so sweet. I feel like a true farmer. I have a field of cows. Just come over here. This this is where the fun happens. I do feel like I lose a little bit of progress when I hold this wheat because they all get like super close. And sometimes they follow me to spots where they should not be. Yeah, we'll breed the sheep. We'll breed the sheep. It does make it more of an actual process as opposed to just clicking in one single spot. So I guess it has its positives. It has its negatives as everything does in life. Everything sometimes is about compromise. Sometimes some things are good at others and whatever. Some people are good at other things and you're good at other things. Now, in my life, I think the most unhappy I've ever been is when I was comparing myself to others. Now, that's not to say that you can't use others as a benchmark for certain things. But you have to remember some people have been afforded opportunities that you haven't. Some people might be smarter than you. Does it mean they're a better person? Does it mean they're cooler? No. Some people might have tried harder in something and they got further. I don't know. But when you compare yourself to others, I mean, look, dude, it's a common saying. Comparison is the thief of joy. I think that's what the saying is, okay? It's a cliche saying, and cliche sayings get their reason, or get their meaning for a reason, because they're they're mostly true. There's always truth in cliche. Anyways, enough enough advice. Comparison is the thief of joy. <laughs> I try to find some way to, uh, oh, I don't want to hit your foot. Some way to entertain you guys while breeding these cows. Uh, there is just an absolutely enormous number of cows. Oh my gosh. But that was the point. We wanted to create a cow sanctuary. Cows have been abused in Minecraft for years, man. Absolutely just like throwing in these little tiny pens with no friends, no flowers. No cool sheep to hang out with and, 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 and be buddies with. Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. They've been given nothing. We're trying to give them a new life. Even to pigs. But we can't breed the pigs. I think, what do we need? Carrots, right? The carrots? I don't, I don't actually remember. So many of you. I don't know which ones I've clicked on. Which ones of you have I clicked on? I do want to light this thing up at some point. Or, or maybe not. Maybe cows need some peace and quiet sometimes, right? I don't know. I feel like if we light it up, it, it, it'll lose its charm. Oh, can you grow cows by hand? Uh huh, you can. It's just a big waste of wheat, so I wouldn't do it. Okay. I think that's probably good. I'm sure we've missed a few, but that's just the name of the game. Like, there's, there's n absolutely no way we can get all of these guys. Because some of them we've already clicked on. Like, I feel like that group we already clicked on. What about you guys? Yeah? No? Yes? There was two. Okay. Okay. No? No, yes. Some sheep? Some sheep? It's nice to have more sheep, because we did get low on... Did get low on wool making that carpet. It was nice to be able to go over here and just grab some wool real quick. Cool. One thing I didn't think about, can they get out via this tree over here? <laughs> can they, like, hop on any of the leaves and, like, hop out... I guess if they really want to leave that bad, we should just let them go. Um, as long as there's no, like, obvious holes in the fence, I think we should be good. I think we should be good. Okay. Well, we'll put this up. Yeah, dude. That was almost three stacks of wheat just on breeding them. That's insane. Okay. Well, let's just take ourselves our buckets of water. And let's get out of here. I guess we'll just make, like, a normal... Oh, I mean, I don't, I don't know how else to say it. Like, like just a normal sugarcane farm. Because at this point, I don't see why not. I mean, it can't hurt. Let's just find the flattest area that we can to make this. And I mean the flattest area. I think it's like this level right here. But this is kind of in the way a little bit. That's okay. We can, we can fill it in. We just need some dirt. I would only fill in the top layer. I'm not gonna like do anything crazy. Um, a creeper blew up over here. 
For, I always forget we have this village. We need we need to protect it. At some point, we'll build a wall around it, and we will we will protect it. Okay, buddy, you look like if I had some iron, uh, you know what? We're gonna try to find some iron and help Mr. Gollum here. Would you like to get out of this hole? Did he just self regenerate, or am I am I am I like? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? <laughs> Please tell me I'm not alone. You guys saw that, right? Are 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 you good, dude? Is is there like a chunk barrier here? No. Okay. Well, we'll go find some iron and repair you, buddy. I think you're. <laughs> I think he's. If iron golems are robots, I think he's having a, a glitch. Ah, uh, yes, the infamous dirt cave. Great for iron. Great for iron. I feel like we're always looking for iron, man. Iron man. Wait. See, he looks fine now. It's like I don't need to repair him, and then I. I, I, I just changed positions and he's like, oh, I'm dying, bro. Okay, well, it's a lost cause. We need we need sugar cane. I'm sorry, buddy. We gave you a way out. At least we gave him a way out. I I don't I don't know, dude. I, I just don't I just I don't have the brain capacity to understand this. Okay, well we do want to build it close to home. So it probably will be on this layer right here. So I'm going to clear out all of this grass. We shouldn't take too long, to be honest with you. We shouldn't take that long at all. Especially if you utilize... Oh man. Why did we do that? We gotta go get more water now. Yeah, whoops. <laughs> Luckily there's a big pond down here. Okay, now before we do anything, we shall make ourselves an infinite water pool. That way we can't even accidentally do it. I almost did it again, to be completely honest. Only parts it won't work on are anything that's kind of near. Like a drop-off, because water always wants to take the shortest path. Water is so weird. It's just such a... It'll expand infinitely, and yet when it can take the shortest path, it takes it. It's just like, bruh. Why can't you be normal water? Why can't you just be a square and fit into society? And I think we'll farm... I'm trying to see... Not farm. I, I think we'll use one of these hills near here for dirt. And we can just kind of flatten it out from the top. Because, yeah, this area is very, very flat. And it would be perfect if it just had a little bit... A little bit less cavage leaking into it. So, I'll start, like, up here. And we'll take out... Yeah, we'll... we'll We'll take out layer by layer. How about that? I'm not going to make you watch. I'll come back when I got a lot of dirt. Okay. Well, that's the entire top layer of this. Someone said I should make a memorial of duck rock, but I don't think... I think that's the beauty of it. If you don't know what that is, just it's okay. But I, the beauty of it is it was a natural formation that looked like a rock. Or sorry, that looked like a duck made of just stone it was literally just a, a, a rock and somehow it formed with minecraft's crazy terrain generation to look like a duck okay how do i recreate that i can't i can't i i would be doing a disservice to duck rock so we'll, we'll just leave it at that now the giant chicken farm i did in the last let's play hmm I don't know. <laughs> that was an interesting build, but I wasn't, I, I don't know. Whenever I started that Let's Play, I just didn't have that feeling that I have in this one. I'm in here because I'm going to sleep. We'll put up a few of these flowers if we ever end up needing them. I usually throw them away, but then I find that I'll need some of these dyes or something like that. So probably just a good idea, a safe idea to keep them. Can't hurt us at all. We have more than enough storage. Okay. Good night's rest. Off to build a sugarcane farm. Now, I do want to make it look good. So, we're going to make it a square. We'll surround it with a nice, like, Japanese-style cherry blossom fence. I think it'll be good. Uh, we just have to expand the area that it's going to be in to be pretty big. Um, I know, like, for certain, we at least want it to go over to here. 
Now, when we cover up these caves, we have to do it at least three, no, two blocks deep just to fit everything that we're going to need because we'll have to dig down in some areas. So that's going to take a lot more dirt. Uh, where do we want this thing to go over to? Because I don't want to fill up too much. Hmm. may end up making this a little bit bigger. Yeah, just give me a little bit of time because I don't want to make this look like something that's not natural. So I'll kind of mold the terrain to look like this was always supposed to be here. Which is really not that hard. As long as you just kind of curve stuff like this, it'll end up looking natural. I can promise you. So I'm just going to do a bunch of terraforming. I'll come back when I'm done. Nothing. I'm not going to miss anything. Okay. Well, we already ran out of dirt. Oh, no. We have a little bit more. Um, but as you can see... I have added two layers here because whenever we have to dig down to put a piece of water, I'd prefer to not have it flowing so that it doesn't make that noise. Yeah, we'll need we'll need a little bit more dirt. It, it won't be hard. I'll just go take another layer, shave another layer off of that hill over there, and that should be good. Yeah, I mean, this area is pretty dang big. I think we'll be just fine here. I think we'll be just fine. We may want to take off a little bit over here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that too. Okay. Well, it's been about, you know, 30 minutes or so. I have a good amount of dirt. Like, a good amount. Um, will we get a chicken? No. Um, and I did flatten one more layer. And then you can see I did that a little bit over here. The last thing I'm going to fill up. Uh, is over here again. I'm doing the two layers so it does take a little bit more dirt But it's gonna be more fruitful because when we want to put like water in here We don't have to like go under and place a block It is quite a big area Which is what I need because if I'm gonna make a sugarcane farm It's gotta be big because if we want to do like a grand library in the future Well, that's gonna take a lot there's going to be a few mobs under here for sure. Okay, well, let me finish filling everything in. And then when I'm done, we'll actually come back. Uh, we'll start building the actual farm itself. It's going to be nice. I'm going to make it look good. I'm not just going to plop it in the ground and not put a wall around it. I'm going to put some effort into it, which is oftentimes what people don't do on big farms or sugarcane farms. Whatever you are building. I feel like since we're not doing an automatic farm, we got to at least make it look good to make up for that. Sound good? in a bit okay well we have a big area now i don't think this whole thing needs to be a sugarcane farm but we could at least use most of it as a sugarcane farm so we'll go ahead and i know this probably won't be in the farm so we'll go ahead and make another infinite water source here water is so funny <laughs> if only water was like that in real life we would solve so many issues i mean we would just solve dude We'd solve so many issues. Okay, so I believe the pattern for sugarcane. I, I, I definitely want to mark out the area that this is going to be first. So let's go grab all the materials we need to make the wall. Put up a few things that we don't need, like rotten flesh. Uh, I'll put up all the flowers and such. And we're going to grab another temporary bed. I believe the bed that was in our chest we used to make that pink bed. Uh, I think. I don't know. We can find out together. I can't remember. Or maybe I made the pink bed with the no we got the wolf i don't remember man do we have a bed we do not okay uh do we have any wool we have uno wool okay maybe we just take one of the beds from the house yeah yeah that works actually you know what that'll be fine we got a, quite a few wheat seeds now so when we want to start our wheat farm we get quite a bit that's good that's good okay a little bit of bread in here to take uh we will take that Okay, so we'll probably need most of the wood. Ooh, we can use bamboo. Ooh, we can use bamboo. We have a lot of fence. Uh, we have a lot of stairs, slabs. We're going to want some chests, of course. What can we throw out that we don't really need at the moment? Don't need the coal. Probably got that from flattening something out. Okay, nice. Okay, so things are looking up. Things are looking up. I will go ahead and put a chest on there. We'll come back up here, craft some bamboo blocks. I don't know exactly how we'll utilize them, but we can use them for something, I'm sure. I, I, I don't see why not. So let's go over here, make a project chest area. Probably didn't need 10, but that's okay. We'll just put them up in there. Okay. And then we'll put the bamboo down here, sugar cane down here. There we go. Nice. 
Okay, we definitely never are going to use that. I don't know. I mean, copper, I guess we... <laughs> there is finally a use for it. It's for the brush. To, uh, you know, to brush the suspicious sand and suspicious gravel. If you don't know what those are, you aren't missing anything. It's a little tricky, though, because you can't make netherite gear until you get something... I don't remember what it is or where you even get it. Um, so that'll be kind of fun. It's like a... Man, I, I, I literally have no idea what it is. I know it's like a template, I guess, to be able to craft the netherite ingot. Kind of strange that they locked it like that. But at the same time, that means you need really good diamond gear before you can go, you know, in a bastion or whatever. Or wherever it is. Or a, I almost said netherite temple. It sounds like something that could be in the game. But I don't think that it is. What am I trying to think of? Just make a bunch of it into bamboo off the bat. Um, okay. I can't remember. What is it called? The Nether Fortress, right? Yeah, Nether Fortress. Why don't they make a netherite temple in the nether? Also, they did the cave update. The dungeons are still that we didn't take a bet. The dungeons are still the only thing you can find underground that's cool. You can find an ancient city, but like, why not add some dungeon, some dungeon, yes, some dungeon variations, okay? Wouldn't it be cool if you were walking around and you found like a swamp dungeon or you found a, an oak dungeon? I don't know what those would mean, but they could be a little different. You know what I mean? Something cool. Oh, well, we have to skip this rainy day, so that's okay. Oh, take a big stretch. Stretching is always good for the soul. We will take out one bed and use it as our project bed. It might get wet. Uh, to be fair, I think our entire upstairs floor gets wet every time it rains. So we need to like add more to the house. The reason I never end up adding to the house is like that has everything I need. It has a place to smelt, store items, and sleep. Um, you know, maybe an armory would be cool. But like beyond that, I mean, there's not really much purpose. Okay, so what kind of, like, actual fence do we want to do? That's the only thing that I have a question about. Um, how big? Probably want to do... Um, yeah, probably start in this corner. So maybe... And that's kind of cool in and of itself. Okay, and then have, like, a... One, two, three, four, five... Probably like a five block gap. Okay. That's five, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, it is. Okay. Boom. 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 And then we'll just continue on this pattern. I'm sure one of these will be messed up, but I can very well count to five pretty easily. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then one, two, three, four, five. Boom. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, we probably don't want to go that close. That's fine. All right. Well, let me kind of shape this thing out. Oh, what am I doing there? Let me shape this thing out and then I'll come back when I'm done. Okay. This is all lined out. And you can see I have my sugar cane over here just uh, so I can multiply a little bit while we build. Um, as for the actual structure of the fence, I'm not really sure. I am going to build... I hear these, these zombies under me. Eventually, we'll go down there and potentially light it up. I say that, but uh, it's probably only going to be a little bit of an issue while we're building. It's not really an issue. I'm just scared. We have had two zombie attacks thus far. We've had two zombies come up here and get us. So, that's why I'm a little bit concerned. They appear to be spawning in droves down there, which is not great. Not a great sign, but it's okay. So, this fence doesn't need to be, like, super secure, necessarily. Um, I think what I'll go do next is put stairs here so that we can kind of, like, fit a cherry blossom slab in between, like this. And that could be kind of cool. I have a few ideas for how the fence is going to look. Just let me kind of put the... Let me let me put all this stuff down and then we'll come back. Okay, so that is done. And then I believe I just want to run some cherry fence like this. Maybe. And then what, what, what would we top this with though? 
Maybe some bamboo slabs. I don't know. We need a crafting table. It's kind of cool you can make a craft table out of something that isn't like wood. I mean, I guess technically it is a wood, but it doesn't feel like wood. So something like this. Just see how this looks before we do the entire thing like this. Okay. And then... No. The fence going in the middle. Hmm. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. I know I like that. I think that looks pretty cool. It's using all the new materials. So let me at least build the entire thing to be like this. And then we'll come back and kind of figure it out from there. Okay, there we go. And then I kind of decided on the fly that I'm going to put an upside down uh, bamboo stair. Looks pretty good, I think. And then maybe we can just do like fence up there. I don't know. It looks kind of weird because it doesn't connect to anything. So maybe, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to do that on every single one. Okay, so I did change it up just a little bit. This stuff almost looks like cactus, dude. It's, it's kind of strange looking. I may end up bringing these up one more and capping them off of this slab. I think that's what I'll do next. And that'll be the last thing we do. Um, now, I don't know if there's a center to this. I guess the center would technically be right there. So I don't really... I don't really see of a way we can make that into an even entrance, but if you want to get inside of this thing, you just crouch. Like, it's actually perfect. So mobs can't get in, um, but we can. And yeah, all I did was add a fence right there. So I think it looks pretty good. It, it turned out better than I initially thought it was going to be. So what I'll do next is just go up on these. And then just make them one block higher like that. I, I, I think that'll just make the whole thing look a little bit better. Just because it's it's almost a little bit too flat without it. And I think you can kind of see what I mean. Yeah, that, that does look a ton better. Okay, the last step. And we're done. Well, no. We, <laughs> we're definitely not done. We have to fill in all. And I mean all of this. With these very specifically shaped holes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to solve this. Oh my gosh, please do not kill me. I have so much experience. Please do not kill me. <laughs> I'm so worried the zombie's gonna hit me. How oh, to get myself into this situation? Why do I do these things to myself? Come here, buddy. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Who's the boss now? Okay, no more. Oh. No more zombie rumblings. You guys are now out of order. You may not rumble anymore. No more rumbles. I don't even know where the other part of the cave is. I'm sure it's somewhere around here. Uh, Where's Dutter Cave? Oh, okay. Over here? Uh-huh. Oh. 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 That's a big cave. Right under a sugarcane farm. Okay, we'll have to keep that in mind because it's kind of a high up big cave too, so it could have a ton of good stuff like iron and coal and whatnot. Okay. Out of this hole we go. No one will know. There you go. You may have had your doubts about this wall, but I think that it turned out looking pretty dang snazzy. Okay, we'll, we'll call it snazzy. It's not the best wall, but I really like it. And that's okay. That's perfect. Got a lot of bamboo blocks. A lot of bamboo blocks. Now comes the very fun, grindy part of digging this all out. Yay! And I am going to go ahead and farm this once through. It's grown, you know, a little bit. But hey, this is why I did this retroactively. Because this means it's just that much more that we can plant off the bat. I mean, it, it'll take a while for us to be able to actually, like, plant this fully. Probably, maybe... In between episodes, we can do it. I'm not exactly sure. I mean, when you're watching this, I'm out of town. So I went out of town for a Labor Day weekend. This is being recorded on, I think, Thursday, right? Yeah, it's Thursday. I haven't started. I start college again in January. Okay, so you, you, you get a long time of uh, very consistent uploads from me. We're going to be live streaming, by the way, very soon. Uh, the new season of SMP. Uh, it's updated to version 1.20 on my server. Neo Network will be very soon. So we'll be live streaming that. I'm not trying to advertise the server. I'm just saying that's what a lot of these live streams are going to be. We're going to do a live stream kind of series on it. 
this is still going to be obviously the focus, but uh, we're, we're going to be doing that here and there. Um, okay. So we can grow a piece of sugar cane. The, the thing is, I, I want it to be 100% efficient, which isn't, isn't possible. You can grow a piece of sugar cane there and there. So if you go down like this, I believe that's the pattern, right? I think. Down one in the diagonal. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure that that's the pattern. It's like down one and then diagonal. Down one and then diagonal. So you can put a piece of sugar cane there, there, and there, and there. There, 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 there. Yeah, so it's pretty much as close to being 100% efficient as possible. So I'm going to build this entire pattern on the entire thing, and uh, I'll fill it with water. And then I think we're going to cap it with some of these slabs. So when I come back, these will be all filled with water, and they'll have a slab like this, and then we'll start planting sugar cane. Cool. I will see. Well, obviously we're gonna put water in there, and then and then cap it with the slab. Okay, I'll be back in a pit. <laughs> okay, well it looks like this thing is mostly dug out, which is nice. I said I'd come back when I had the water done, didn't I? Yeah, I think I did. Uh, but that's okay. Now we get to use two buckets. This is gonna be the fun part. I'm probably gonna remove this just so that I can quickly, boom, boom. <laughs> This might be, this might be a little bit. I might, I might go get the other buckets I have stored up. Yeah, we're definitely gonna go do that. That might be better. Well, it gives us a good opportunity to reflect. How, my, how many buckets have we made in this series? I feel like we made a lot. I don't know if we left some in the dungeon farm. I don't think so, actually. Yeah, no, because the only chests that are left in that area that I didn't move are like, for mob drops. So I should have brought them back up here if I was a smart man. I did. Ooh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. That's a sight I like to see because we don't have a lot of iron. That's more than we can fit in a hot bar, dude. Let's go. Okay, let's see how many that is. We'll take from our magic well of magicness. Nice. Okay, so there's one extra we probably won't even end up using, but... That is nine holes instead of two. So we basically, four, we have 450% improved efficiency just by grabbing some buckets. Let's go do it for a little bit with these nine buckets. Ha ha. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, that'll be a lot faster. Dude, I have heard the bucket pick up and place water noise so many times. Luckily, I've gotten in a little bit of a routine. I'm watching a video of some gentleman exploring an abandoned, abandoned Soviet, Soviet missile, not missile silo, uh, old like space facility with the with like a shuttle, something. I'm just making sure they're all filled because I was pretty sure that was the last bucket. Yeah, we should be good. We should be good. Nice. Okay, cool. So no more listening to anymore that noise has scarred me i do need one more bucket of water so that we have infinite water okay all righty so now we need to make not that many slabs that should be enough and then we get to go in and fill them all in so i'll go do that real quick should not take long at all i should be able to even sprint and do it yeah okay let me do this and then we'll plant the sugar cane i have farmed it a few more times so we actually have doubled the amount of sugar cane we have, which is really good. And I have filled in another. I had a creeper explode under this thing. Also, this fence works beautifully because it blocks the garbage trades from getting near me, which is honestly is the best part. And the last little bit here. And we're done. I had to make so much more. You guys saw how much bamboo I grabbed. That was like probably over 500 buckets of water I put down. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, now we get to see how much sugar cane, after all this time, that we are getting to work with. Probably not as much as you think. I think this thing's going to take like 10 stacks to fill up. Something like that. Like, it's pretty dense. Um, it's like 90% density to ground volume, something like that. Well, maybe not, maybe like 75%, because like every four blocks there is one of those. But 
It's a lot better than putting it in rows. I don't remember where I learned this pattern. I think it's from Cairo on my server Neo Network. I'm pretty sure that's where we learned that from. Okay, so we got all these. We need the dirt to fill these channels back in. We don't need the water from them. And after we finish this, I'm gonna go ride my motorcycle. I did get a different motorcycle. I had that Honda Trail 125 for like a few months and then I traded it in because it was way too small for me. I looked hilariously large on it. And uh, I still got a smaller motorcycle. I got a Kawasaki Z400, which is still a relatively small motorcycle, but it's pretty quick, you know? It's, it's not super fast. I didn't want something super dangerous. Um, but I wanted something that was fun, and that's definitely really fun. So I'm going to go ride that after I'm done placing this. Okay, so I'll place down as much as I can, and then I'll come back when I'm done. And we should have a large amount of sugarcane planted. It, it's so nice to be able to farm it like this. Then you just run through, and you break it like that. Oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. It's not as good as waterless sugarcane like we have on Skyblock, but it's still pretty dang good. And we're in survival, which makes it that much sweeter. Okay, I'm going back in a bit. So I think you can very well extrapolate how much more sugarcane we're going to need. I put all that we had down. And the last step is sealing it back up. And I do want to do one more thing before we go. Uh, we're going to need like a place to store the sugarcane, obviously. Like we're not just going to, you know, get it and then put it in the house. No, 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 no. But I, I, in all seriousness, I need a little bit of like an area for us to, I don't know, have like... We just need an area, okay? One, two, three, four, five, then put one. And then one, two, three, four, five, then put one. So I'm going to make this area a little bit bigger just so we have some space around here. I'll make it look nice. I think we still have, oh, that's all the dirt we have. Okay, so terraforming on a constrained budget. Um, It's possible. It might not be the greatest. It's possible just because we need to be able to like get up and around it. I'll I'll fix it when we have more <laughs> when We have more stuff then we'll go ahead and build it up to here And then I'll kind of copy the same pattern that I did on the other walls But this wall won't have sugarcane in it. Obviously, it's just gonna be like a little area a little staging area I guess you could call it for us to put a few things in so we just need all these materials here And then we should be able to fit. Yep. There we go Okay and then the block below it. Oh, we need bamboo stairs. And then we'll put like a door on the front or something. I don't know. Bamboo stairs. There you are. Okay, so like this. Boom, boom. Oh, wrong block. Slabs in between. I do really like all these new blocks. It still feels like I'm playing modded in a way. I think that feeling will go away eventually. And we didn't use nearly as much cherry wood as I uh, thought we would use. Jeez, we still have quite a bit. Stairs in between. And we'll do something different on that side because that'll be... Well, no. I, I Actually, I, I want the entrance to be on this side right here. So we'll figure that out in a minute. And then obviously it's just the same sort of thing like this. And then a slab. Okay, cool. And then we do have some extra chests in here, thankfully. I was proactive for once. And I think we'll do some sort of bamboo floor in here. So let me break out this. And we have enough bamboo. People people really get mad when I don't use slabs. And like, I get it, but at the same time, then you have that knowledge that you have a half slab floor and there's that little gap of air below your feet. Just try not to think about it, okay? We'll just try not to think about it. But when your floors, actually this would insulate your floors if you had a layer of air. In real life, this would be like insulation, I guess. Um, and I wanna put like a door. See, the problem is, is that technically you don't need a door anywhere because you can just get in. We may just leave the front open, if that makes sense. But we will, we will take this out. That way you can get in and out really easily. And then on these ones then, I think what I'll do is put the stair right side up like this and just kind of denominate that it's an entrance there you go cool nice that is a nice bamboo farm dude or you know what i mean it's a nice sugarcane farm 
Well, I'm going to go move everything back to the appropriate spot so that I can take some nice screenshots and so that we also just don't have this stuff just randomly sitting. And then I will come back in just a bit and we will wrap up today's episode. You got to admit, man, that does look pretty dang cool. It's a little bit laggy because I have my render distance on 48 chunks, but we won't talk about the three FPS, but I think that looks pretty dang cool. I found the issue, if you look in the top right corner, I only gave the game two gigs, and I don't know, some people say you don't need to give more than like six gigs, but I have 128 gigabytes of RAM, so I usually will give Minecraft like 64 gigabytes, and I use a different garbage, garbage heap collection method in my startup flags, and that seems to fix all the issues. I don't know, man. A bunch of mumbo jumbo that does not mean anything. Well, that's how Mumbo Jumbo got his game. <laughs> oh, okay. I see now. I did bring some more dirt so that we could hopefully terraform this bad boy a little bit better. Just so that it doesn't look like a total noob built it. You know, I am one of the least noob players around. I am the goat, as the kids call it, of Minecraft. The greatest crafter of all time. Trying to cringe people out. Is it working? Have we reached maximum cringe velocity? Okay, there we go. Mm. There we go. Cool. A little bit of area around here. Uh, I did grab some more chests as well. And we should be good. I don't know how much capacity we will have, but I think this should be enough. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, maybe I grabbed a few too many, okay? Maybe maybe I grabbed a few too many. We'll just put some chests over there for good luck. Well, thank you guys for watching episode six. I do hope that you guys enjoyed it. I know I sure did. And if you wanna leave a like, I'd really appreciate it. You should subscribe. I would also appreciate it. If you watch the video this long and you're not subscribed, ask yourself, why have I not subscribed to the Neo Cubist? I would really appreciate it. I'm trying to reach 1 million subs by the end of the year. If we could hit that, that would be an absolute dream. If not, it's okay too. Uh, secret code for today's episode is going to be 3851. So put that down in the comments below if you want to show me that you watch the entirety of today's video. Again, that's 3851. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!